Welcome back to The Vocalist. Today I am hearing Deep Purple for the first time, so we're starting with a live performance of Child in Time. Okay, I I know this is a long one. I was really trying to get through a decent chunk, but I just have so many thoughts going on in my brain right now. So we're going back to the beginning. Um, golly, vocally, so much, so much happened in such a short span of time um, and some really cool things. But also, I'll, I'll break it down. There was... Um, a couple of the people just in the audience, like it looks like they are literally on the edge of their seats, like leaning forward, so excited and engaged in this performance. And I love seeing that. Um, also, the keyboard player, I I want like a close up of that ring. It just looks super cool. I don't I don't wear jewelry because I don't know. I'm just not in the habit, I guess. But uh, I think it'd be cool to have like a signature cool piece like that, especially when you're the camera's on your hands all the time. I think that's, I don't know. It just stood out to me. I thought it was cool. Here we go. <laughs> timing is so crisp and yet stylistically it's so laid back it just feels so chill and I I don't know it I enjoy that it, there's movement in this um I feel like it, it there's trajectory and so I feel like we're going somewhere as they slowly build but it's just it's so crisp 
with the symbols and then um, when the bass comes in, I just, I don't know. There's, there's a very elegant precision in this opening section that I'm really enjoying, um, despite the fact that, yeah, stylistically, just the whole vibe is very chill, very laid back. Sweet child in time. And then, Yo. I'm sorry, let me back this up a little bit. Even just the mix when those vocals come in, they are so strong. I just love how present his voice is. Sweet child in time, you'll see the line. I think I picked up on that at the very beginning when he sings your at first to me it sounded like a very wide vibrato and yet very consistent um in that I don't know in that shape but later on he does a really cool effect that makes me wonder if this was also an effect and it's just it's not vibrato You'll see the line, the line that's drawn between the good and the bad. See the blind man. I love that shift. It's so sudden. Um, vocally when he's in mid range and we get that gentle whispery quality it's gorgeous he has such a gorgeous tone but then as he goes and ascends into that upper register the presence is if you know i mentioned how present his voice was at the onset of him even singing but now building on that it's so cool to hear Between the good articulation with these lyrics is so I don't know it's just so captivating I know I have a tendency to smile because of what I'm hearing vocally I understand the context of this song doesn't exactly warrant smiling at least not yet I don't know how this is going to progress but I do appreciate when singers have such crisp diction so that I don't have to look up the lyrics and that I can't understand and I can go on this journey with them instead of having to go back and do homework. Oh, this, this was it. When I, um, that effect I was talking about where initially I thought it was just a, a wider vibrato rate and here it sounds like he's actually physically pulsing these notes. Wait for the
grab this transition again. Oh man, what a great mix. It started super duper head dominant. Um, but then I just love how he, he added more press. We got just like this firmness the second time around. And then of course he goes higher and it's just, it's a beautiful, um, well-rounded tone and it matches so beautifully with the rest of his voice, even though obviously the colors are very different. great timing oh my gosh I'm realizing earlier I mentioned like that during that interlude I was talking about I think I mentioned the bass maybe it was the guitar I don't know what I was hearing at the time but regardless um on honestly the one of the big thoughts going through my mind is well done to like the producers of this live performance because if this is what audiences actually saw when this aired I the camera angles, everything. We get to see so much and I'm so impressed by that. Um, wow. It just, it just kept going. <laughs> like you think they've, you know, reached their level and then they just took it a step higher. I'm so, wow. Let me just get that, that ending section when they all cut out together. That It's such a challenging I say it's a challenging thing. May I, uh, everyone's different. Everyone's different. Back in my jazz band days in high school, I don't know if I'm just easily distracted and I had to be so purposeful when like there were any sort of improv sections because I would, it was so easy for me to lose count. It was, I, when I say jazz, but like I was not crazy good at piano. Let's just preface this but it was fun and I enjoyed it and but that was a thing for me I, I I don't know if it was a focus issue or I just was easily distracted I don't know so the fact that they're all just riffing for such a long period of time to still I don't know if someone was cueing them or if they were just counting whatever it was happening I was very impressed with this cutoff so I want to watch it again here we go <laughs> Thank you. 
times he's gonna sing this his phrasing is so it's so captivating um because we get that gorgeous tone but it's not interrupted with these really audible breaths um and i'm just hanging on every word just the way his pronunciation and the way he elongates certain notes and cuts off others i don't know there's something just very captivating about his phrasing here <laughs> Sweet child in time, you'll see the line, the line that's drawn between the good and the bad. See the blind man, yeah, he is shooting at the world, bullets flying, oh, they're taking toll. And you've not been here, not been here by flying left. You better close your eyes, you'd better bow your head. Wait for the ricochet. If you've seen any of my videos, well, not any, but a decent number of my videos, you know that's that uh, image just seeing the way he pulled his tongue forward i love seeing that in singers because i would rather i don't know not rather it's just such a smart technique for helping to release any tongue tension you have i don't know if he was feeling tongue tension in that moment or if it's just a, the way that he was you know used to producing that particular note i don't know but Either way, if you're someone who notices tongue tension in your singing, just pulling your tongue forward. Sometimes singers will literally pull it past their lips. Sometimes it's just a quick stretch in the mouth. It's such a smart skill, um, such a smart um, technique, tool. I don't know if skill was the right word. Let me see that again. You better close your eyes. You Okay, last time I promise. You will also notice whenever you change the shape of your vocal, tra vocal tract, and that includes what's happening in your mouth, you're gonna produce a different sound. So I don't know if this particular clip is gonna get blocked, but it's a, we're around like 7.12, 7 7.07. Um, you can see when he pulls his tongue out the slight, or here I should say, both C and here, there's a slight shift in tone when he does that. great example of changing shapes and producing different sounds yes he's changing notes but oftentimes when we make ooh sounds as singers it's we will open and widen that ooh in order to almost to better hear ourselves and so he starts um with a slightly wider more neutral position not really using his lips as much and then as he rounds his lips that helps to lengthen the vocal tract we're getting a slightly different tone as well
every element of a performance is so good that it's hard to focus on just one thing. Obviously, I try to focus on vocals, but they're just so talented. There was so much to to listen to, to pay attention to, to try and grab onto. Aside from Smoke on the Water, I don't know if I've heard any of their other songs. At least I didn't recognize any titles when I was first looking up their music. So I, I definitely have some listening to do, but I just, I'm blown away by how skilled they are and just the professionalism. Like to see such a, a an incredible live performance is just... I hate to say it, but it's rare, you know? And, well, I don't hate to say it. I think it's a special thing because, yeah, some some bands, some artists are better live than others. And so to have been there, to have seen something and heard and watched and just, like, been a part of something that was so good and, like, technically good, so good, but also impactful and meaningful, I think it's a thrill. So... Or I imagined for them it was a thrill. It's a thrill for me to watch now. But that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for this recommendation and for watching with me. And hopefully I will see you next time.